¿Cómo has logrado vencer los obstáculos dentro de una sociedad tan exigente? You know, there's so much happening in our society and our society is changing more and more and more and we all have different opinions and division in America um, has never been like this before. It's unprecedented. Um, and what's really important is to love everyone, uh, but also understand that, um, you know, first and foremost, I love you. You can believe whatever you want. Let me believe whatever I want. But if you don't want me to, you know, t sit your children down and tell them everything that I believe because you don't believe what I believe, why would you want me to sit down with them for eight hours a week to tell them what I believe? And so in that respect, uh, we must understand that, that there are fundamental principles of life um, that we all understand. Everyone has equal value, uh, but don't indoctrinate my children with the values that you have that I don't have. And I think that's the beautiful thing about how Catholics and uh, Protestant Christians understand that, um, you know, we, we have our differences. Even within Protestant churches, mm -hmm. there's differences. And everyone at school, you know, bullying and teasing, I think it's, it's really, really important to understand to not also as individuals keep up with the demand of the society that's also influenced by sometimes social media. As a professional speaker, uh, as a businessman, as a husband, as a father, uh, balancing life is, is the, the biggest fight I have. Um, and I fight really hard for that. And I have a team that also helps me fight for that. Uh, learning how to time manage and prioritize and plan out even the countries that I'm going to over the next five years. Um, we, we really try to plan it out and make sure that I am also a wonderful father and a wonderful husband by just simply being there. I'm not that person that sacrifices my family to go for a mission or make money to give my children opportunities because my children need a father more than opportunities. And uh, this irreplaceable years of uh, my children, it's very, very important that I uh, sniper in and make sure that, um, that I don't get emotional nor pulled in uh, to making decisions that, um, that I'd rather maybe, let's just say, regret later. Mm -hmm. And so I'm always focusing in on time. I think actually time is the greatest asset of your entire life. Time is not promised. And so I try to do my best Um, to seize every moment, seize every opportunity, plan it out. And if I can't come to a country, I mean, we have 35,000 invitations for me to speak and I've been to 81 countries and 31 presidents. So there's a lot of demand.